Hi, Dr. Greg Kunganian here. We're about to perform a cervical procedure today. Uh, we're doing a neck fusion. This is for a patient who has neck pain as well as some radiating pain down her arm. So during this procedure, we make a small incision actually on the front of the neck so that we can access the cervical spine. We use a microscope as well as x-ray to verify where we're doing our procedure as well as where we're placing our implants. And then we also use nerve monitoring to make sure the patient is safe as far as her nerves and spinal cord. During procedures like this, the bleeding is very minimal, uh, usually only just a few drops of blood. They usually take about an hour depending on how extensive the patient's uh, symptoms are and how much needs to be done. But patients with this type of surgery often go home the same day, either with one, two, or even three level procedures such as this. So during a cervical spine surgery where we're doing a fusion procedure, what we're actually doing is removing the disc and replacing it with what looks like a bone block. That bone block is meant to fuse those two segments together. Now doing that for one, two, and even three level procedures does not necessarily change the ability to move your neck, turn your head side to side or up and down. This surgery is meant to actually treat neck pain and nerve compression going down the arm and can be done as an outpatient basis. This patient now will be going to the recovery room where she'll wake up from anesthesia and in approximately one to two hours she should be on her way home.